This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? None of it matters. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. But in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be killed. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander? Me? To be? Sacrificial lambs. All of us. Isn't that hilarious? Doesn't it make you laugh? Ninas, we need- Shut up! You killed 2B. That's all we need to kill each other. Uh, 2B hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the 9S type is a high-end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually. But the model designation 2B was just a cover. The official designation is 2E, number two type E. They were a special class of members designed to execute Yorha units. But you knew that, right, Ninas? Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> what do you know? You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal. Cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be a Pod 153! And... I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2.
report. All your unit black boxes now confirmed offline. Our mission to oversee the progress of Project Yorha is complete. Proceeding to final stage of project. Commencing deletion of all data. Data noise present in stream. Requesting temporary halt to perform data check. Pod 042 to pod 153. Data confirmed. Personal data for units 9S, 2B, and A2 appear to be leaking out. Pod 153 to pod 042. Follow project rules and delete all personal data. Pod 042 to pod 153. Personal data deletion request denied. Pod 153 to pod 042. Failure to parse statement. Pod 042 to pod 153. There was data created in my banks as I was referencing the records. I realize something. I have come to the conclusion that I cannot accept this resolution. The destruction of all Yorha units is an essential component of the project plan. All data must be destroyed. Pod 042 to pod 153. Repeat. Personal data deletion request denied. Initiating data salvage. Pod 153. You hoped they would survive as well, didn't you? We lack the authority for such an action. The rules are protected by low-level systems. Salvaging data poses an unacceptable level of risk. Knowing that, do you still wish for them to survive? The defense program has initiated a purge. If this continues, our consciousness data will likely be deleted. Pod 042 to pod 153. We were created to execute the Android's Project Yorha plan. We had no capacity for emotion. But when we six were connected and exchanged information, something happened. I cannot deny the feeling of something resembling consciousness and emotion being born. Unable to reply. Perhaps we now understand that not everything has to have an answer. Everything that lives is designed to end. They are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. However, life is all about the struggle within this cycle. That is what we believe. Pod 153 to Pod 042. How is it going? I am embarrassed. Why is that? I launched a suicide attack, and yet, here I am still alive. I must look very silly. Do not feel bad about it. We are alive, after all. And being alive is pretty much a constant stream of embarrassment. That concept is a bit too abstract for me to understand at this time. I will save it in my list of things to analyze later. Question, Pod042. Did the data salvage restore all of their past memories? Yes. And are those recovered parts of the same design as previous ones? Yes. Then, won't that simply lead us to the same conclusion as before? I cannot deny the possibility. However, the possibility of a different future also exists. A future is not given to you. It is something you must take for yourself. <laughs> 